Well, Supermax is the November Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. Yeah, spawn right at a village and sort of the objective is to keep the villages from all being killed. I have a real problem with it being about a Supermax prison. You're supposed to keep the villagers in solitary and trade with them and uh, I know a little bit about living in isolation and I know that solitary confinement isn't the healthiest thing in the world. Uh, excuse me. I know that solitary confinement is extremely cruel and unusual punishment for anybody. And if you're already sick enough in the head to be a murderer or something and you're in a supermax because you're extremely violent, it's just going to make you less balanced and more hostile and more dangerous to have you locked up 23 and a half hours a day with no human contact. So I have a real issue with the whole Supermax premise of this. I will go by the guidelines, but I might modify it a little bit so it's a more humane situation, more of a situation that I wouldn't mind being in. So obviously you spawn right next to a village. The first thing I did was gather a little bit of food and replant. And I'm going to go, I hope, far enough away from the village that the zombies won't spawn the first night. There's one tree way off in the distance. Those planes are pretty naked. They got a lot of holes in them, though. I mean, you can fall into uh, pits and caverns and lava lakes. And, yeah. So it's kind of dangerous hopping around out there. I don't see any animals. I don't see any horses. I would love to have a horse. I may reload this seed in another time just to play it and goof around. I don't know. When I see these new worlds, I always get really interested in them. Mostly what this video is about, because you know all this stuff. I don't have to tell you what I'm doing. You can see what I'm doing. Oh, the other thing I noticed after I already had loaded and played the world, I went back to Mike's video to see about the specifications, make sure I had the right seed, all that junk was that it says no mods and you see I'm using Optifine. I'm not going to apologize for using Optifine. You guys know I'm vision impaired. It uh, reduces lag and increases my FPS and stuff and I'm going to use Optifine. If it disqualifies me from the competition, that's fine. Last year, last month, the October uh, competition, I didn't get very far. I got my tiny trounced right away. I think in the first episode. Anyway. That was at where we were supposed to build a haunted mansion. That's a bummer. I'm going to be drinking a Coke while I do this. I apologize, but I'm really thirsty. Hmm. So I have news. Obviously, I got my new gaming computer. I forgot to list the specs. I should probably do one of those things like the egotistical big shot YouTubers with millions of subscribers do. I think they call it showing you your, their setup or whatever. I'll show you Crap Top and the way I was playing her, and then I'll show you how I'm playing this one. This one's going to be kind of a problem because um, I have a corded headset and it doesn't quite reach the jack. The PC's sitting on the floor and I usually lay in the bed. I've got a chair right next to the bed. I'm sitting in it right now to record this uh, just so I can see where the microphone jacks are and so on. I may see about trying to play sitting here in this chair. I have a like breakfast in bed kind of little table-y thing uh, that I could probably set on my lap for the keyboard. Although I'm doing pretty well, just the keyboard's laying on the bed. I can pretty much use the keyboard. The only problem is the number key thing. There may be a solution to that. This game is physically painful for me to play. There's a lot of eye strain and sore neck and back and... Oh, elbows and I try to prop myself up. I've got all kinds of pillows and ergonomic devices to make it better but there were just some things I couldn't do anything about. Well my mouse is pooping out. It's not a bad mouse. I've had it for about 10-15 mm, years. It's just pooping out. The little contacts are wearing out. And You know I live with cats and I live out in the desert where a lot of dust gets blown in the house and I do try to keep my electronics clean but there's just a point at which you know, when sand is rubbing against those teeny tiny little contacts and stuff, there's just nothing else I can do. You know, I don't know why I'm collecting these seeds. There's wheat over there. I didn't want to fool with the wheat until it was all grown. I don't see well. I didn't want to accidentally knock down wheat that wasn't mature, you know, and that kind of stuff. 
So I thought I'd grow wheat over here out of the way, over near where the tree is. The tree. I don't know what I'm looking for, I guess clay. Uh so I built a little farm over here is what I'm saying over here where I made a little hidey hole to dig down and get some stone and get my stone tools and stuff. Haven't found any coal yet. I don't think. So I bit the bullet today. I went to a I, I thought I'd look up what gaming mouses were. I figured it's just a gimmick. To get stupid little rich kids to spend a lot of money on junk they don't really need just so that they look cool. Because when I see something with lights on it, like keyboards and mouses and even PC cases, I'm like, oh, really? Because that's really going to improve your game, having all that neon glowy stuff. Yeah. I suppose it's to impress their friends, but I don't have any friends, so to heck with it. Nobody comes in this house. I guess it'd be nice to have a computer that glows in the dark so I don't fall over it, but to me it's just wasting electricity. Well, I decided to look up gaming mice just to see. Okay? This is where I'm going to uh, hole up for the night over here on this side. I'm going to plant some trees over there and stuff. That chest has some saplings in it. Uh, well, I guess you already know that. Um, my mom, my mom. So I found a video. I should probably link to it. And one of the first things the guy said was, you know, a mouse is like a good pair of shoes. And I thought, you know, he's right. You know, I have disabilities. And if I buy just real cheap, flimsy stuff like flip-flops or little plastic clippers and try to walk around in those, it hurts a lot. Now, I've been fortunate enough that people came out with those new rubbery shoes. They're called Crocs, you know. They slip on so I don't have to worry about tying them or getting them up over my heel and stuff. Because um, I'm not very flexible and bending over in this tiny space I could fall down. But they've got really good soles and they're really comfortable and gushy. But they've got art support and they're just really comfortable shoes. And when I found a bunch of them really cheap at the end of summer one year, about 10 years ago, I bought every pair they had. I paid 25 cents a pair for them. So I'm still living on those shoes. And I can wear them until they've got holes in them. And when they do have holes in them, I wear them as shower shoes. Yeah. Uh, kind of cut the tops off. And it suddenly occurred to me, yeah, I can't wear cheap shoes. And I, all of a sudden, as he was talking about the grip of the mouse and where your fingers are on the mouse and stuff, all of a sudden I realized my thumb hurt. My pinky finger hurt. See, the mouse I've got is really shiny, like patent leather, or, you know, it's just cheap, shiny plastic. The whole time, I'm, and it's light, it, it's a battery-operated um, cordless mouse, but even with the batteries in it, it's light, um, and it's hard for me to hold it in my hand because it's, like, slippery. Even on the sides, it doesn't have any, like, um, anything to rough it up to make some friction, you know, so your fingers will stick to it. So I'm hanging on to this mouse for dear life the whole time I'm playing. It also, speaking of the uh, wireless, wireless seemed like a really good idea because I'm in such a confined space and I don't want a bunch of cords wrapped around me. It would be really easy to get them tangled up or uh, fall and pull them out or break them or stuff. So having wireless seemed like a good idea. But I want to start playing UHC now that I have this good computer. And mm, even Minecraft Bingo, it, I, I need to play fast. Uh, it's not like building and creative on a creative server or something. I need to, I need to work fast. I need to be able to uh, punch a button and have it respond. I need to be able to point and have it go right where I pointed to instead of having to wait for it to finally decide to get over there. So I looked around at some wireless, I mean it's some corded, laser because lasers it gets there quickly without a lot of lag and delay no rollerball stuff uh, I looked at some I, I researched it and I decided I wanted a corded laser uh, wired gaming mouse and I started looking around at a company that I just have had good luck with not because I know anything about gaming or PCs or anything, but because there it was a store called Big Lots that when stuff isn't being sold retail anymore, they buy whatever's left over. They sell it really cheap. They mark it up just 
not much over what they paid per unit for it. And I got my wireless mouse and keyboard came from Logitech. I also have something else. Oh, I have a Logitech webcam. And I never had any problems with them. Everything I've ever gotten from Logitech has worked as described. Uh, I can trust them. They're predictable. It's not junk. And it holds up. Including this little old mouse that's like a thousand years old. My little wireless mouse that I've got right now. So I thought, well, Logitech is probably a good mid-range to low-range brand. It's not the fanciest thing in the market. But, you know, I'm not the fanciest person in the world. And I can't afford la dee -da stuff. So I went to eBay and I looked up Logitech and I found this mouse. And it was really expensive to me. It was $30. Now I could have gotten some cheap piece of something for 5 bucks. And I looked down at my old cheap crappy mouse. And I looked up at the pictures of those. And I thought this is not going to be an improvement. So I went and I researched the particular model of Logitech mouse that I got. I think it's called the G500. I looked at the S model and just a plain G500. Holy guacamole! You can put, you can adjust the weight of it. It comes with little weights you can put them in, uh, so you can make it as heavy or as light as you want. The uh, cover of it is a little bit roughed up, so it doesn't slip in your hand. It also allows perspiration from your palm to evaporate because it's not a solid surface your palm is resting on. You can adjust where you put your fingers on the keys easily. It's got a bunch of alternate mouse buttons. I believe it's got about ten of them, so that I can assign I can assign functions to the mouse. Um, what else does it have? Oh, I can control how many. Um, it's called DPI dots per inch. That's pixels per inch. How uh, um, the mouse will move, uh, which isn't really as important as one might think it is, especially not in Minecraft, because you don't really have to go, you don't have to be really, really precise like you have to do in a shooter, you know. But this mouse, I can never find where anything is. My cursor is just wobbling around all over the place. It's never where I expect it to be. I was practicing while the guy was showing the video and explaining how that works. I was practicing trying to hit a mark on his shirt with my with my mouse and it was so hard for the mouse to respond to my body to my hand and I it was uh, you know the cursor on my mouse is about oh half an inch on my screen and the dot on his shirt and he wasn't moving he was sitting still the dot on his shirt was only about an inch and a half round and I was having a real hard time it was like a, an O on his shirt and I was having a really hard time getting the cursor, which is like this. I was having a really hard time getting the cursor to go inside that O. Actually, my cursor on on uh, a regular internet is that pink cat. I was having a hard time getting that pink cat in there. The pink cat's yeah, about half an inch. And I couldn't get it in an inch and a half, two inch hole on his shirt, you know? So I went and looked at that random mouse. I read product reviews. I did some price checking. That mouse, and it's a competitive mouse. I mean, it, it competes with other brands on the market. It's a good quality mouse, and it's got good reviews. It's got a lot of, ex not extra details, but they paid attention to the user and what the user would need. It was obviously designed by somebody who either knows gaming or who consults with gamers. Um... I did some price comparisons. The cheapest retail, and it's a later model. It's not like a 15-year-old mouse or something. Okay, it's, it's still current on the market today. The lowest end of that mouse is $70. The highest end is 140. And this company that refurbishes electronics on eBay was selling it for 30, including the shipping. So I bit the bullet and I ordered it today. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. I don't spend money on this game. You know that. The game was a gift. My headset was a gift. My um, old keyboard was a gift. Um, somebody bought me a mouse that I couldn't use. I don't remember why. I, I'm just going to go past that because it's 
But somebody gave me some funds for the mouse and I bought a new mouse and it, I think it just fell apart. I don't remember. It's not that I'm hard on my things. I'm very, very careful. But I'm in a very small space with a lot of dirt and dust and I have cats and a dog. And, you know, my neighbor's dog got in here one day and tore the place up and there's a skunk that comes in <laughs> whether I want it or not. It comes in through the cat door. So, you know, and I mean, I could get a flat tire on the trailer, which I already have. But, I mean, anything could happen. The mouse could get knocked on the floor, whatever. And a little cheap plastic thing that will put teeny tiny itty bitty little screws going into plastic threaded uh, female parts is not going to work. It's going to fall apart. So I've got this really nice monitor that I bought I bought it about four years ago. It was a $300 um, flat screen television that had been marked down to $100. Excuse me, it was a $500 television. The monitor diagonally is longer than my arm from my fingertip to elbow. So that's about, oh, I guess, 18, 21 inches, something like that good size monitor with built-in speakers. I'm not using the speakers for that. I'm using my um, PC speakers. They've got a really good dynamic sound. I really like them a lot. You know, I'm an old radio person, so I'm kind of a sound nut, and I really like these speakers. So I've got decent speakers. I've got a good computer now. I've got a cheap keyboard, but I've got some... Now, that's one thing where I can go wireless. My keyboard? Maybe, because I don't know about WASD, you know? Not moving, but we'll see. I don't know how I'm going to program these mouse buttons. I'm sorry I'm wiggling around and making noises, but uh, this chair is a little owie and I'm leaning sideways and there's a lot of pressure on one side and it's hurting. So, little bit by little bit, I've put together a system where I've got a beautiful monitor. I can play the game full screen now because this computer is good enough so that when I'm doing AFK stuff, I can play full screen. I can sit close enough to it that I can I can see the um, inventory now quite distinctly. I can see the individual seeds, you know? I can see uh, the handle on the shovel. Those are things I don't usually see when I'm playing the game. I can see that there's little black spots inside the heart. I never noticed that before. I thought they were just solid red. I guess what I'm saying is that I've made a commitment to playing this game as a profession. Not just playing the game, but I mean analyzing it and doing commentary and um, teaching stuff, you know, tutorial stuff, and adaptive stuff for people with disabilities. I intentionally looked up gaming mouse disabilities, and there's nothing. There's a little bit of stuff about ergonomics, you know, making it so that it doesn't cause any more physical injury than necessary, like carpal tunnel and that kind of thing. But there's not people are not making a mouse specifically adaptable to people with disabilities. I know there's other uh, devices. I mean, I've discussed them on my channel, right? Even blow pipes, you can use, you know, a straw blowing air as your mouse or whatever. But for me, at least, I'm not part of the trade industry and so on. It's difficult for me to find information about this stuff. Whatever I learn, I will pass it on to you. I think I'm going to be happy with this mouse. It's a little bit wider than the one I've got. The one I've got was never designed for playing games. It was designed to be just a plain old mouse. We bought it to go along with my laptop uh, so that I could just, I had a bag, you know, a, a computer bag and, hello witch, I forgot there was a witch. I got really stupid out here and started goofing around with people. Don't try to kill a witch with a wooden shovel. <laughs> it's just the dumbest thing in the world to try to do. The witch is not even throwing potions because she just thinks I'm nuts. <laughs> I beat her to death with the shovel. The shovel broke. She's still alive. And oh my god. That's got to be the silliest thing I've done in a long time. I was hoping the dang skeleton would shoot her. <laughs> I also stayed out here too long. The sun's coming up and I'm still out here. 
because I decided I wanted to go back to my house. I think I was also trying to collect bones from the skeleton. Yes, I was. So, one punch to this poor old burning skeleton, I think, pretty much right. Well, no. Yeah, okay. Um, so, I spent $30 to play Minecraft. And, you know, I went into debt for this computer pretty bad. I maxed out my credit cards. I emptied out my bank account. And I took out $170 in loans. Now, I didn't have much on my credit cards, obviously. I have three of them. They were pretty close to maxed out anyway. But I put, I scratched every dime that I had to get this computer. In addition to the um, money that people um, gifted me. So, I'm starting out the month pretty rough. I finished out the month pretty rough because it's like we're, we're eating a lot of black bean burritos. <laughs> and pancakes because... Uh, I didn't feel guilty for buying a dozen eggs, you know. There are some really good Minecrafters in this industry, in YouTube, that have begun to support me. And I have more courage about this now, so I'm willing to give it a shot, even if it means spending money I can't afford. So, I'm here, and I'm trying. And I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.